Hey everybody, welcome to this video in our CCM series on the bulk renaming tool. It's a great tool. It allows us to rename either a host or a service. We can do a lot of them at once if we would like. And when we use this tool, any old performance data associated with the old name will also move to the new name. Whereas if we change it elsewhere in the CCM, we're going to lose the association of the old perf data to the new name. That's two great reasons to use the bulk renaming tool. Here we go, let's jump right into the interface. All right, so here we are in the core config manager. And as we look at this tool, we're gonna to be able to rename both hosts and services. So I'm gonna cover the host part first and then we'll circle back and then take a look at the services. Now to set this up, let's take a look before we jump into that tool at the hosts page here in the CCM. And you'll see that we've got a listing of hosts and then these top five are the hosts that we're gonna rename. And in the intro, when I said, hey, you could rename it other places, this is what I'm talking about. If you just go here and you change the host name here to the a new name, what's gonna happen is we're not gonna be able to carry the, uh, the performance data that's associated with the old name. We're not gonna be able to carry that forward. But when we go down here and we use the bulk renaming tool, we are able to do that. So like I said, you can choose hosts or services. We're gonna choose hosts and we're gonna take these top five here and um, it's a log server cluster. They kind of all kind of go together. So we're looking at this state step three of the tool here. It supplies you the host name and then we can put in a new name. You can alternately put in an alias and that goes out and is useful in a couple of places. Display name is a piece of information that XI stores, but the current version of the interface doesn't use. So you can put something funny in there if you like, but you won't really ever see display name come up in the interface. So you can safely ignore that. So for, uh, for the new name, we're looking at like LS1 and we'll go down and we will rename all of these. All right, and when we get here, we can take a look here. We can check or uncheck this box here. And what it says is do not apply config at the end of the wizard. And what that means is it will store our changes to the database, but it won't write out new configs. And this can be useful if you want to review or have someone else on your team review the changes that you're about to make and without actually changing your monitoring immediately. We're gonna go ahead and click next, and this is going to apply immediately. So let's take a look. We go back up to hosts, and we can see that those hosts that we had before have been changed here, and we have changed five hosts in a short amount of time, rather than going to this screen, changing each one individually, and additionally losing our performance data history. Now we're gonna take a look at services. All right, so why would you, Rename a service. Well, there's a couple good reasons. Let's take a look at those. So we go through here and we're gonna see that the name is, there's two parts to it. We've got a config name and a service description. So the, say we look at this one, this is a switch and we're talking about the port 10 status. Well, port 10 status is nice, but we know that port 10 on this switch leads to the Microsoft Exchange server. So maybe we, you know, we want to measure the status of that, but it's more descriptive to us to see that as the Microsoft Exchange port rather than just simply port 10. We don't have to do that translation. It is obvious to everybody on the team. Here is another thing that we can do. We can also, if we change the config name, we can make it more universally applicable. So you take a look at this, a lot of these config names, you'll see, well, these are just IP addresses and down here we've got some DNS looking things. The config name could be anything. It happens to be the way that it is because I used configuration wizards to make most of these services. When I go down here, you'll see that I've got this ping service. So the nice thing about renaming this ping 
uh, I can keep the service description as ping, but I can apply this and I can use this service for multiple hosts and they'll all be ping and there'll be some unification there. That's an advanced move and it does lead us into our next video on the bulk modification tool and I urge you to stay tuned for that. It's going to be great.